Thank you, everyone. Um, we're going to make this very brief, uh, but still going through uh, everything that happened today. It was such an amazing uh, meeting, very innovative in, in many aspects. Uh, and uh, Dr. Wolfson and I are going to do like a back and forth in terms of the, each of the individual sessions here. So let's start with the first session on, um, let's say, the epidemiology and the, the trends in terms of dry eye disease. So what's your summary from what was discussed today? Thank you, Gus. It, it's nothing more to concentrate your mind when you know you're doing the closing session to take lots of good notes. Um, so Marda started us really well with the sort of introduction of the generations and particularly their thoughts on tech. Um, we all have a biological age, but I think we also, also have a behavioral age. Um, and I think with tech, you know, it has taken over the world. Um, and in terms of our interests, it really has a massive impact on ocular surface. Um, my talk, hopefully you saw the unmet need of, of this highly prevalent disease and, and really the plight of patients. I think that that's just such a, a driving force. And if, if you don't have an opportunity, and I know in my companies, I get all of my staff to actually go and talk with patients because it's a real driver for, for what you do and, and understanding what, what difference you can make. Um, and then in the discussion, and it's been brought up earlier, that sort of circus top analogy of at the moment we're sort of fiddling around in this circus top um, full of different beasts that we don't really fully understand. Um, so the idea of, of better point of care diagnostics and treatment targeting was really brought out in that session. Uh, then, of course, we moved on to the, the new technology session. Gus, what did you, you pull out from that? Yes, I think the summary is that um, it's as a multifactorial disease, uh, the, probably the, 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 your greatest chance in, in curing the disease is addressing specific mechanisms of actions or specific uh, characteristics of the disease. And, uh, but at the same time, uh, no uh, specific drug or mechanism of action is 100% what explains the disease. There's always uh, another one that would be, so there's, that's why you have companies, for example, like Stuart Therapeutics, um, uh, tier solutions, OQ, that address multiple mechanisms or are very ubiquitous to try to address that, whereas others uh, is focused more specifically on, let's say, inflammation, such as Oculus. So uh, I think there's room here for uh, b both like a broader approach at addressing the common denominators for the different uh, phenotypes, uh, but I think in terms of uh, getting to a, a result soon, uh, in terms of cure or ameliorating the disease, it would be to focus on the specific mechanism of action. And that's very clearly defined from the science today. And now, the last uh, two sessions, so we're talking about uh, uh, methods uh, to improve the, bringing these drugs to, to the market, as well as the uh, finance and the economics behind that. So what do you have to, for the audience here? Sure, and, and in that new technology session, I, I thought again those analogies to more mature markets, if you like, like psoriasis and cancer, uh, was a real sort of, I think, uh, pointer to the future. So then in, in optimizing speed uh, to market, we had a, a fantastic uh, uh, analogy of, of the architect, so the, the concept, the rules, the operational excellence, and all of that leading to the happy client, and, and so being able to uh, have someone who's willing to, to pay ultimately. We, we heard about uh, technological advances in that sort of operational excellence, so things like the control diverse environments, the iCup, uh, all about peace, people, process, and technologies. I think that's so important, turning down that noise, uh, gene and cell information and corneal sensitivity, the Idema rheology test, the fun confocal, which really is fun and amazing views of, of that, and clinically meaning, meaningful data. And then finally in that last session, the, the value of investment in, in new technologies. So despite the, the challenges, the, the sort of opportunities that segmentation of the, the disease is now offering, um, and certainly being the co-chair of TFOS Juice 3, that's definitely the way we're, we're moving within that as well, and, and that will be published uh, next year. Um, and also things like the importance of, of phase two trials and, and learning from those to, to inform through to, to phase three. And that really, again, comes back to our, our patients that we had at the beginning, Sarah and, and Ruth. And, and I can imagine if they were able to listen some, to some of the aspects of this day, uh, I think the word that summarizes this day is hope. Hope for you as um, company people and investors that actually you can produce uh, products that will really change the world. 
um, for ourselves as researchers that actually we've got a really exciting uh, rest of our career ahead of us with, with real changes, but most of all for our patients, hope um, that actually this disease that has destroyed their lives in many cases uh, has uh, potential uh, to be improved uh, in their lifetime. I like that hope. This is just the tip of the iceberg, but it's a, a very uh, optimistic uh, impression I have here in terms of what's coming, uh, not just in terms of drugs, but also how these trials are going to be performed, targeting specific populations. So I think we Hopefully, five years from now, if we have this meeting, we'll be able to talk with even more hope uh, or seen successes in these different areas. And in closing out this session, you know, there's never enough time for discussion. I'm sure you have loads of questions, loads of people that you need to talk to. So we end with a networking reception to really enable you to do that. Do come and ask us, do talk to other people in the audience here, because actually it's that working together. Um, we all have something to offer. Um, there's um, you know, a massive market out there and, and so much need. So do, do enjoy that networking reception. Thank you for, for coming and joining us today. Thank you.